Okay, so we're at one of the little ponds on the farm. Now, there's definitely some new activity in here, but I really haven't done much yet to figure out what species. So we're gonna we're gonna clear this bit of weed off the top, and I might just have a bit of a pond tip to do, do a small survey, and, and see if we can dig anything up. Um, yeah, see so what we can find. So we've just we've done some dipping. Now you'll see there's three smaller newts in there. They are all palmate males. Um, we'll get into why in a minute. And then there's this other newt, which unfortunately looks like it's suffering with severe bloat or for some unbeknown reason you know it, it doesn't look like it's doing very well <clears throat> and I would guess that that is a female palmate but I just thought I'd show you that and um, I'll carry on dipping I seem to have found where they're hanging out now and, uh, I'll do some we'll do some close-up looking on stuff as well Pop those back there. So, find them around this reed bed. So, a quick dip. And then away. There we go. So, this is. Sorry. This is another. Palmate. This looks like a. Female, possibly. So I'll just stick her in the bucket there for a minute. And um, just have a little sift through. Got plenty of snails, um, little water flea things, and this stuff as well. So, quick sift through. Don't think there's anything else. Turn the net upside down back to where we got it from. <laughs> okay, so had a bit of a dip. <coughs> um, a few newts here, not too many. Obviously, it's daytime. Great time to see newts is in shallow water, nighttime by torchlight. But this pond is it's incredibly overgrown. And it's just sort of a little survey so I can see what's going on in the pond itself. So we've just found them around this vegetation. Um, just a few dips. Now, straight away you'll see this one is extremely bloated, uh, I would guess. Now, this is a palmate new female. Um, smooth newts and palmate newts can be very difficult to tell apart, especially the females. But if we just look one way, is palmate newts will have no spots under the chin. The females, the smooth newts will have spots under the chin you know they both have pale yellow or pink bellies and they're both fairly brown this is obviously very bloated or maybe can't pass eggs and it's not looking too great but you've got to take let nature take its course there the other few that we found are looking good so if i pull this one out this is a male palmate newt and again, smooth newts and palmate newts. The main difference between males of smooth and palmate newts. Palmate newts have webbed back feet, as you can see here. He's got webbed back feet. So we have a couple of males in there. You can see the webbed back feet there. It's quite prominent on the palmate males. And then we also have 
So there's three males in there. And I think there's two palmate females. So one that's bloated. It's obviously not too well. And then we have this much nicer looking one here. So again, we can look under the chin. No spots on the underside of the chin would indicate that this is a palmate female. So just a quick pond dip. <clears throat> and I will let these guys go in a minute. So scientific name for palmate newt is Lysotriton helveticus. Probably saying that wrong, but there we go. I'll stick it up on the screen as well. Now newts will lay singular eggs wrapped in pond vegetation, normally pond leaves. They'll wrap the leaf around a singular egg and I believe they'll lay up to sort of two, three hundred in a season. Now, by winter time, they become terrestrial, so they'll look fairly different. And similar to toads, they'll travel away from the pond and hibernate on the ground. And then they come back fairly early, or fairly late winter rather, early spring, to their breeding ponds to breed. And, and they'll spend a, quite a long portion of the season in the pond then. So it's just a, yeah, pretty cool animals. I might just get some camera shots of these guys, but. So this is the pond where we found them. Now I sort of half cleared this um, late section of the winter. So major vegetation here still and here and it's actually sort of turned into an island it's, it's way too far gone but we've left that so that the newts breeding in there will still have plenty of you know half the pond width sort of sort of breed and heavy vegetation um it's a bit more tidy and up needed but it's starting to starting to come together after digging it out about 10 years ago obviously been neglected for a long time but yeah that's a little bit about the palmate newt there is a possibility there's smoother newts in here as well this was literally just a quick half an hour dip <coughs> while i had half an hour time so i will do another dip at some point soon it's, it's hard to torch light in this pond at night it grows this duckweed so quickly so it's quite hard to do that so a little dip will sort of give me some insight i might try and get a couple of pictures of those guys and, and then i'll um i'll stick them back in and they can go back to doing new things i guess so yeah i'll uh thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next one